Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 571. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 570 to 574. In this trick right here, we want to import an access data table right to this area here, and be able to update our, this is access, update this table with new records, and have it automatically update in Excel, but that's not all. We need to then link the data in this table to a form that will be printed out. And we want to select the student ID, the unique identifier from the primary key, and have it data on the form print out. Some of the data will then print out and there'll be areas to uh, you know, fill out the form or whatever. So this is just a little simple example I made. First thing is we need to import our data from Access. So I'm going to go to Data. External data access. I must uh, close this database. In earlier versions, it's data menu, get external data, and then from access. All right, then you select your data set wherever it may be. In 2007 and 10, ooh, it gets imported as a table. Now, one advantage to that is that table, the table feature has dynamic ranges. And that'll be awesome because we're going to use formulas over here to get data and those formulas will update when we right click refresh our um, imported data set here. So table in that cell is just fine. You could click properties and look through, enable background refresh and we definitely want that. Click OK, click OK. So there it is, our little data set. Now control S I will in a moment go over and add some data and we'll see how to refresh. But right now, we want to uh, have a data validation right here. Actually, I'm going to take that color away. The green is for formulas, no fill. So we're going to do uh, data validation. Now I'm going to highlight this range right here. This will be our primary key and come up here and I'm going to name it. This is in case you actually had the form on a different sheet because data validation from a different sheet would require a name. So I'm going to click up here and say uh, student ID enter. Right, and so now the name, of course. And we can see that there's a, oh, a table, student data. How convenient is that? We'll use that for the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to come right here. Maybe I'll add some sort of. Uh, Different color just for that. All right, and this will be our select. So I'm going to Alt D L, Alt D L to get to data validation tab, and I want the list feature from that allow what, and then the source. I don't remember what my named it, so I'm going to hit the F3 key. The F3 is paste name. I double click. I got my name. I click OK. Now I can select this, and the goal is for our form. We select this and the certain fields will populate. And this is just a simple example. You know, you could have 10 or 15 fields or whatever you want. All right, um, notice class one, class two, and major. So the, um, uh, the, the same field names, although that's not totally necessary. We're going to do VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Now we're going to look up this value right here, and I'm going to hit the F4 comma the table and um, I'm going to highlight this and I believe it'll just pop, no it won't, it, uh, it's going to try and get that uh, table name. Uh, we could use table nomenclature but I'm not going to, I'm just going to use that range F4. That range will update when we refresh our uh, link table to access, comma the column index, well we actually need if you look up, this is the first, second, third, fourth. We're going to need a different one in each, so I'm just going to put a two here because we're going to copy this formula here and here, and we'll change it, comma, and I'm going to put zero for exact match or false because um, I don't know how that table will be sorted over in the access table. The fact that it is a primary key and there's only one occurrence of each item. Uh, will mean it's fine if we use a zero. Right now I'm going to copy, paste in class two, edit, and change this to a three. <coughs> control V, copy, control V, and then edit and I'll change it to a four. So now if we change this, right, 
four, it should change uh, and seven, so that's a different student. And then all this, these uh, fields will update. Now let's figure out how to print this. I'm going to set the print area because I don't want any of this other stuff. If it's on a separate sheet, it wouldn't really matter. Page layout, set print area, set print area. You could do whatever other formatting you want. Um, um, so we have that ready. If I control P, I'm in 2010. Control P gives us a combined print and print preview. In earlier versions, uh, Shift F2, I think it was, or Control F2. Control F2, yeah, it still worked. Control F2 is print preview. Again, this is 2010. I despise this in 2010. They mix the print dialog box and print preview. This is still the beta, so maybe they'll change that. All right, so now we want to check. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go over and open up my um, Access database. Uh, maybe it won't like it because that. No, it should. Well, it's not liking that. Let's try it one more time. I just clicked the wrong button. Uh, I'm going to open this table right here, and then I'm just going to add some data. I don't. I should have a form over here. Um, I'm in data sheet view. Uh, well, how about um, click right there, create. I'm in some strange mode right now that's not letting me do anything. Well, let's close this. I should be able to um, file. What, what kind of mode? I, it's read only. OK. So I'm going to close this other. Uh, Excel, now open it. So if I open the table, then I can create, I don't know what that was going on right there. Not an ex access expert, but something funny was going on. You know, closing and opening always seems to work. Uh, and then I'm going to select whatever it is. The point is to see that there's new, ooh, a major in Excel. I want to go to that college. 809 should be some sort of data validation there to prevent duplicates. It doesn't look like there is. Oh, but anyway, so we select from our drop downs. We have two new records. Wow, Tech 107. This person's getting a degree in Excel also. So I'm going to close it. No need to save in a database. And now I've got to find my file. A lot of Excel magic tricks there. Okay, let's see um, this one right here. Now we're going to right click, refresh, because it's an import and we said refresh it. Boom. Okay, and so um, it added the records at the top. Look at that. All mixed up. Uh, that doesn't matter so much. Now I'm going to see if my data validation, sure enough, uh, it got the new ones. It populates. Um, and let's see if the range is updated for our VLOOKUP. Yeah, and that's all because this is a table. I'm going to sort this. That's really annoying. Okay, so there we have it. Now we have our uh, still doesn't. Oh, there it is. We're missing a 2. There's no 2 there. So there it is. Import from Access. We got our data here. It updates by right click refreshing. We had our data validation with the name and we had our VLOOKUP. We did a little printing. There it is. Access import. Look up some data. Print out a form. All right. We'll see you next trick.